So in this bag is a 100 meter long streamer. This motor is smooth and quiet. Takeoffs are so gentle. All right, so now that we are in the air. Whoa. Okay. Well, I just heard something hit the prop. I don't know what it was. But I, oh, I know what it was. Yep, I got a land, emergency landing. So the cross brace that holds my uh, frickin' pull starter just went through my prop. Wow, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. Unreal. Oh, man. I don't have an extra prop either. Look at that. F How the f did that happen? Oh. Fed up my shroud, everything. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Didn't bring an extra prop. Of course. <sighs> wow, what a... What a bummer. <sighs> I'm never going to find that fucking piece either. Oh my god. Man, I'm really, really bummed out right now. Brand new paramotor up a prop already perfect launch everything's laid out nice perfect beautiful night and I don't have an extra prop I don't have anything with me <sighs> so what happened was my the pulley for my pull start um, the ball bearings broke I don't know when I don't know if it came like that or if they, they messed up but so I was in the process of replacing it and I didn't have time to fix the the, the pull start part came out today. So I just tied off the pull start and it has e-start. So I figured, well, just use e-start today. Well, now we know that on this unit, the pull start, the tension in the pull start cord is what retains that cross brace. So without it, evidently that cross brace can ride up and come loose. And that's what it did. And it went right through the prop. So my fault, I guess, but I did not, I did not know that that was like that but whatever I don't think I'm gonna find this thing man I'm so bummed you guys I don't get to fly all that often and the weather's been terrible and um, now this night is done for me and and my paramotors no longer perfect I took all of two flights <laughs> Wow yeah I don't, I don't know where I was when I heard it I heard it right around here. I heard like a tick. And then whenever you hear a tick <laughs> in the air, you turn around and you land. So, hey, I'm grateful for that, right? I was able to make it back to my truck, which is nice. That's that's nice. Grateful for that. This is a gray cross brace that I'm looking for. Like a little gray piece about that long. Um, so I really do not have high hopes for finding it. You know who will find it, though? The next guy that mows this lawn because 
<laughs> I don't know what it's made out of. I think it's made of carbon fiber. But uh, son of a bitch, man. I'm so pissed. I am half tempted to fly anyways. Just throw a piece of duct tape on that prop and go fly. But dude, that's just a bad idea. I might get away with that. But if I don't and I do more damage, I'll be more pissed at myself. And I will have wished I didn't do it. Son of a gun. <sighs> Well, at least coming with the airplane, so <laughs> maybe I can go fly with him for a little bit. I don't know. Man, who would have guessed that the tension in that pole starter was what was retaining that cross brace? All right, I'm out, you guys. I'm just going to keep blabbing if I don't shut off the camera. So we'll catch you back up when I get over there and assess the damage. I'll give you my final thoughts. See ya. Ah. All right. Wait, take two. <laughs> okay, so here is what happened. Took off, heard a click, already talked about that. What happened was, there is a cross brace usually that goes from that point to that point, okay? And I had disconnected my pull start because there's a pulley on this cross brace and the pulley was damaged. Um, so I was replacing that pulley, but I didn't have time to replace it before I got here. So I tied off the pull start here, put a little piece of tape just to be sure. It's like triple knotted, it was not coming off, okay? left the cross brace on well evidently the only thing holding this cross brace on was the tension in this line right that holds the cross brace down it can slide up so the vibration of the motor let, let this slide up on both sides and it turned slightly as well while it was while it slid and went through the prop i literally only heard a click i didn't feel anything and that's because we can see hopefully it focuses come on there we go it took a giant chunk like finger sized chunk out of the prop that's what it took out of the prop. All the pieces of the prop are still in there though, so it didn't go out of balance. Um, it also damaged my shroud, um, which is a huge bummer. But, like I said, bright side, I'm not hurt. Really, there's no damage to the paramotor. Uh, the shroud can be sanded and fixed, and the, the prop maybe can be fixed, and I have an extra one. It's just such a bummer that I. Alrighty, I'm on my second prop, two hours on this motor, but on the bright side, the takeoff was beautiful, it's beautiful weather, wish I could be flying in it, but I'm not, he's helping me out, putting away this streamer that is impossible to get back in the bag, so, I don't know, I'll see you guys in the next one, maybe we'll actually get this streamer working.